Hi guys, I'm Angelina and I'm preparing for graduation, which is coming in two weeks. I'm a little nervous, but I'm also pretty excited. I'm graduating with a bachelor's degree in communication and media studies from SUNY Oneonta, so I'm very happy. So what I chose to do is find a way to reach out to the people who have made my time in Oneonta just wonderful. What better than a personalized card with my cat Kiki? I bought a trifold poster board from Walmart, so that was like a dollar. I set that up on the ground with a couch cushion for Kiki to sit on. And then I had to use treats to lure her over to my little makeshift set and have her sit still as much as possible. Snapped a couple of photos on my Canon 80D and I did actually do that completely in automatic because I don't trust myself to move fast enough. If you are curious about the equipment that I'm using, right now I'm recording on my iPhone 13, but this is a Canon 80D and I'm filming on an 18 to 55 millimeter. Um, honestly, I don't have a lot of lenses, so. I brought them over to my computer and then I pulled them into Canva. On Canva, I used a background remover and tried to just kind of put Kiki into a yearbook photo type of thing. And then I decided that I wanted to make another card just kind of for funnies because I had so many photos anyway. I took one of the photos that I liked the most from the photo shoot, put that on there, and then I wanted to test with Canva's new AI tool, which is really cool. You can kind of just like paint over a section of a photo and add in something with AI. I wanted to do a graduation cap, but it just wasn't working out. So I decided to go with sunglasses instead and make it kind of like a summery themed card. I thought that that could be kind of cute. Messed around with the text on that and it was maybe a little bit of a lower effort one, but I love it nonetheless. And then I brought both of the photos into Walmart's photo center and figured out the cheapest way to print them. Um, I could just get like a print. Would it be any cheaper if I just did like a standard print instead of a thing? If I were to... So I guess that's what we'll do. Sounds good to me. It ended up being less than $4. So pretty happy with that, not too bad. I went to Walmart and picked up the photos today and that's where we're at now. So to start, we have the first print here and I'm really excited about this one. I feel like it looks so cute and I think that it looks yearbooky, I guess. And here's the second one. After seeing it printed out, I definitely want to get like a poster or something of it because I feel like it's just so cute. I hope that my friends and family appreciate this work just as much as I do because I feel like it's really exciting. Everyone in my life knows Kiki. Kiki's like my kid that like I birthed her. So I feel like it's special. If you know me, you know Kiki. If you know Kiki, you know me. One more. What more? So I'm gonna hand out some of these printouts to my friends and family and I'm probably not gonna film that because I don't wanna make it weird. Maybe it is already, but that's fine. And yeah, I just feel like it's a really great way to wrap up my time as a media studies student. Um, you know, like I feel like I'm really putting my skills to good work here and this is something for the portfolio, honestly. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe you make greeting cards of your own. It's been a really cool process. Definitely recommend it, 10 out of 10. And if you did enjoy this video, like and subscribe to see what I'm up to. Okay, thank you so much for watching. See you soon. Yeah, okay, see you soon, bye. Look for the Gummy Bear album in stores on November 13th with lots of music, videos, and extras.